this afternoon, I'm in Bee Haven, and we're going to be meeting Sam, the owner. Sam, good afternoon. How are you? Good. How are you? Fine. So I love your store. It's so welcoming, so eclectic, just so colorful and Thanks. calming. Tell us a little bit about your business. Well, uh, my husband Scott and I were beekeepers, and we started keeping bees about 15 years ago, and this was kind of a hobby that got out of control. So we just wanted to see what it was like, and it, uh, we were over at Finley Market for 11 years, oh. and we opened the doors here in August. So right now we're just open on Saturdays from 9 to 1, and Tuesdays 11 to 2. Um, you can do online ordering at behavenhoney.com. Okay, great. So show me around the store a little bit, Sam. And, and uh, I see you have candles. Of course, you've got honey. You just have so many items, maybe skin products. Tell me a little bit yeah, about what we, you carry. We make all our candles. Um, these are these wax lanterns. They come with a little votive holder and a tea light in it. And that's what you want to burn in there that have a nice glow to it. I don't know if you can see there's, a, there's how it yeah. looks when it's lit. Um, these are really popular, especially for things like Mother's Day. Um, I would say teacher's gifts, but we aren't really seeing teachers right now. So, so we just have a wide variety of candles. We have some Easter candles. Um, our hand salves are very popular. I make these as well. It's lanolin, beeswax, shea butter, and grapeseed oil. And then the lip balms that are close to you, those are also very, very popular. We go through a lot of those. Oh, yeah. Now, are those uh, fragrance, or are they... Some have, uh, we have a fragrance free, and then we have, um, they're all with um, essential oils, except for the sandalwood vanilla has a fragrance oil, so. Wow. And then we have our wall of honey. Um, we have some that are from different areas, like sage is from California, orange blossom is Florida, uh, star thistle is Michigan, the buckwheat is Northern Ohio, and blueberry blossom is New Jersey. And then we have local honey. Um, we have local wildflower honey from a beekeeper in Claremont County, and then we have a shelf that's um, from the hives that we manage. So I've heard that for immunity, it's best to ha eat your own local honey. Is that correct? Yeah, and, and it can be a little tricky as far as local because someone will say, well, my doctor says it needs to be within five miles. It's just really about the plant life, you know, as long as the plant life is the same as where you live. So you could probably go to Columbus, Indianapolis, and it's going to be very similar plants. And I notice all the different colors of the honey. That's from the yeah. different... Different nectars, right. Different so nectars. Like different grapes make different wine, different flowers, different nectars make different honey. And it's really amazing. Like the buckwheat honey has a, almost a molasses, malty flavor. I say if you like, like a Guinness stout beer, you might like the buckwheat. Um, if you like something lighter, the wildflower is a little bit lighter in flavor. And in June, we'll take more honey off the hives and it'll be even lighter than this. And we just call it spring honey. There's a lot of black locust tree nectar in there. And then what do you have over on this shelf? Um, this, is, this is a honey tea. So it's um, honey mixed with different herbs or spices. And you just take a big spoonful and mix it in your hot water and there's your tea, it's all, all made. Um, and then these are our creamed honeys. It's just finely crystallized honey with, uh, this has cinnamon added and this is just regular. And these are the jams. They're all made with honey and not sugar. We have ginger peach, blueberry lavender, and strawberry rhubarb. Wow. And then these candles are amazing. The, the shapes, the colors, and that. And I see you even have a line of bee-related <laughs> t-shirts yeah. that are so cute. Even little onesies. So... And then what are these, Sam? These are honey straws. It's just a plastic tube of honey that you can eat as a nice honey snack. You can pop it open with your teeth or snip it open and flavor your tea, your oatmeal, your yogurt, anything. And people just eat them as a little honey snack. Kids love them. So, um, so uh, I appreciate you talking with me because I passed by here and I've never had an opportunity to come in and I'm just really impressed. Well, thank you with i like how local everything is and just the the essential oils and i wish our viewers could be in here to smell it smells so good too thanks. so thanks a lot sam thanks for coming in